Well, it is starting to feel like fall at the home of Notre Dame football as the Irish return to South Bend after passing their first road test at NC State. And just walking around campus, belief is in the air that something special is starting to build in year number two under Marcus Freeman, but it is back to work today for the first ever matchup with Central Michigan. On this third down and two. Pressure look, pressure comes off the edge. That's going to make the stop in the backfield. It's Benjamin Morrison on the corner blitz and making the play for Notre Dame. Jeremiah Love checks into the game at running back. Hartman looking deep once. Oh, and has his receiver to Tobias Merriweather. Perfectly in stride. Touchdown, Notre Dame. 75-yard strike. And the tight end across the formation, dropping the pass once again, flipping out to Luke, and Luke has some space as he crosses the 40 down inside the 30-yard line. They'll give it to Bailey, straight up the middle, and he's trying to break one tackle, able to, and into the end zone. Football comes out, though. That ball break the plane first. They're going to say, yes, it did, and touchdown Central Michigan. Okay, hats off to the Central Michigan offense. Responding to the early adversity in this ball game, Notre Dame scores on four plays. Central Michigan says, hey, here we go. We're coming right back at you. Aided by that roughing the passer penalty early on. They got the great field position. Football goes to Esteban. Esteban breaks the tackle and in for the touchdown. Tremendous blocks out front by Joe O and Pat Cougar. As soon as Estimate breaks the line of scrimmage, there's nobody left. No levels to the defense. Notre Dame wins up front. Estimate finds the hole. Know what plays they're going to run. They practice those plays all week long. They got a lot of backs trying to use them. Hellman looking got deep downfield, and he has Chris Tyree who runs underneath of it, and in for the touchdown goes Tyree. Can't throw it any better. Brad Student adding to that experience in the secondary. and lucky just to dive on it once again. It's Thomas Harper. Sam was bracing for the hit. Hartman, quick pass to the outside. It's Rico Flores. I knew they wanted to get him the football today after talking with the coaching staff. Bauer steps up, and this is complete. It's Jesse Pruitt. Now Pruitt with a nice move. And he'll take it down to about the 35-yard line. Bauer fakes. Protected. Protection breaks down. That football just floats out of his hands. That's Jack Kaiser there in his face. They're going to rule this a fumble. It appears they will. Football now back outside the 30. You gotta love it. So how about Jeff trying to get that great photo there on his own phone? Give this one to Luke's, and Luke's has some great wiggle as he now turns on the burners. Out across the 40. That football came out late. They're going to say he was down before he lost it. Bauer Got pressure him. takes a big hit and lets go of a great pass right down the seam. It's Tyson Davis. They're going to bring in their bigger quarterback here. And Pape, let him keep it. Make that Bauer so they had Pape leading the way for Bauer. And we've seen him do that before. Comes into the game as a lead blocker. Instead, they let Bauer keep it. And in for the score he goes. We got a seven-point game. Sam Hartman out on the field. The first drive of this second half. Roderick Estime starts as the running back. Give goes to Estime. Been having all kinds of success so far. Up and over he goes and into the secondary. Hartman, clean drop. Protection's great. Fires downfield, and that pass is caught by Jaden Thomas. Inside the five. First and goal, Notre Dame. Hartman, quarterback keeper, just going to try to go with the sneak and get it across for the touchdown. Sometimes just keep it easy. 
Bauer gives Miles Bailey, big hole opens up, and Bailey sprints into the secondary and takes it out across the 40 to the 44. Ramon Henderson eventually gets him on the ground. Gain of 19. So now first and 20. Bauer fakes. Protection's great and oh. fires a great ball. It's brought in by Pruitt, who has made some big plays, had a grab in the first half, had a touchdown a week ago. He takes it inside the 20. Bauer drops, pressure's picked up. This pass is caught over the middle. It's Tyson Davis picks up that first down, working on Antonio Carter. Heat, heat, more heat. Bauer rolling that pressure in his face. Floats one back in the end zone. This foul, pass ball's incomplete. If he can get the ball more to the corner, be a great shot for Central Michigan to cash in on that drive. Tristan Matson this time is good from 23 yards away. Jadarian Price next to him at running back. Hartman drops. Firing down the sideline. Has a wide receiver. Rico Flores with the grab. This time from 50. Spencer Schrader. See that big leg of his once again, and he has it. Shake that baby in. Steez, and he's been showing off some toughness, too, after he was spun around and out back into the game. Flips this one to Audrey Estebe, and Estebe with a nice cut, and Estebe out across midfield. Wouldn't be surprised by an inside run here. Same looking play, but Payne is stopped in the backfield. It's Kyle Moretti, the leader of that defense from his linebacker spot, who stepped up to make the play. And they're going for this. Fast. Here's Hartman, up on the line. Hartman flips it out, and this is another completion to pick up that first down. Is that running back flip this ball to Jadarian Price. Breaks one tackle, now Price steps on that gas pedal and takes it inside the 25, down to about the 21-yard line. Just drifting to the left, but through. 34-17, Notre Dame. Thanks to Spencer Schrader. All down the field, as I've seen in college football in a long, long time, on display again today. Here as goes Adrick <laughs> Estime, right up the middle, hitting the Jets, taking it out to the 40. Hartman flips it out. Estime takes the pitch, then cuts it back up inside and crosses midfield. Wayne Cooper Flanagan in motion. Estime up the middle. One more hurdle for Estime. Now gas pedal inside the 10. Third goal. Hartman to pass. Hartman looking for his tight end. Holmes stays. He's got another touchdown. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Just a drag route. They want you to watch the throw by Hartman. It's man-to-man -man coverage on Moretti, and he has to get the ball way out in front. He certainly does, and stays just plucks it with one hand. It's a big-time throw and catch. 41-17, so a little test. With that late drive by Central Michigan, scored a touchdown right before halftime, and saw Marcus Freeman fired up going in, letting the refs have it a little bit, and his team came out and responded in this second half in a big way. They sure did. They took care of business like they needed to today. Jim mcelwain has got to feel good about his, how his team has performed. But through four weeks, Marcus Freeman has to feel great. Let's go down to Zora. Standing by with head coach, Marcus Freeman. Coaches, was a one-score game at halftime. How did your team respond when you challenged them to clean it up? You know, I think they did a, a pretty good job. It wasn't perfect, and, and as I told them, you know, we can't keep beating Notre Dame, right? And, and a lot of those self-inflicted wounds, and it wasn't perfect the second half. And what you saw is when we had some of those penalties, the results weren't what we wanted. But um, the majority of the second half was much cleaner and um, proud of the way they finished. Sam Hartman now leads the FBS in touchdown passes for this season. How did he persevere today? You know, I think, again, the experience he has, man, he's he's unshakable, man. He, he took a couple hits. Um, you know, maybe he threw a couple balls that weren't weren't where he wanted them to be, but he is uh, just an experienced football player that's really, man, it just stays in the moment. I'm proud of him. Now to Audric Estime, had a career high in rushing yards. So many times we talk about him as a bruiser. Why is he so much more than that? <laughs> He's a bruiser, man. He is a bruiser. But, uh, you know, shoot, the one long run he had that got called back, man, you see he's got some speed to him. And uh, he claims to be one of the fastest on the team. I don't know, man. It's pretty good to see him, though.
you mentioned staying in the moment. You charge your players to do that. How did you do with that, knowing that your alma mater, Ohio State, is on the schedule next week? You know, it's, it's a great reminder that, that when you start thinking about things in the future or, or things in the past, like, it doesn't help you have success now. And uh, that was every time my mind went somewhere else or our players' minds went somewhere else, we came back into the moment. And that was to prepare for this team. This is a good football team. And so um, it's officially Ohio State week. Uh, you know, and what, we're going to celebrate this because this was a good win. And uh, you have to appreciate it, but it's time to turn the page. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.